Hello and welcome to this short video about how to draw a family tree chart using LibreOffice Impress. LibreOffice can be downloaded from the internet for free and is very similar to the Microsoft Office that you might have used. There are some differences. Impress is similar to PowerPoint with lots of things exactly the same. So first of all, just to make sure that we all start from the same place, I'm going to open up a new presentation. And you can do this from anywhere in LibreOffice, any document or spreadsheet or anything that you've got up. Just click on File, New, and choose Presentation. Make that screen a bit bigger so you see what I see. And it says select a template. We don't need to do that, so we're going to just get rid of that. Just going to make this move around a little bit so that you can see what I see. So you see on the screen a new slide. And to the other side of the screen, you've got what they call properties. Now, in order to get ahead with producing your slides, you need to understand that it's a little bit different to a word processing document. In Impress, as with PowerPoint, text is added within something called a text box, and these are absolutely crucial. So when you see click to add title here, that's a bit of text within a text box, and you can see that the box here actually moves around. Well, we want a title for our chart, so we're going to keep that. So I'm just going to click there and put Jones Family Tree, for example. And if I take you over here, you can see that the properties show the font and the font size. So probably that's about right for our title at the moment. We're going to leave it like that. OK, so back to our slide. So the next thing is that we've got a big box here. We don't want such a big box. What we want to do is we want to collapse this box. So click into it and then use that little button to the side. Clap into, collapse the box, get that box where you want it. So the first thing we're going to put in this box, whoopsie, the back. It's a bit of getting used to, as you can see. First thing we're going to put in here is the first person on our tree. Let's call him Samuel Jones. Now that writing is probably a little bit too big, so I'm going to change that. We're going over here. See the font size. So I'm going to change that font size down to 14. Go back. Yeah, that's a bit better. You can also see that it's actually centered within the middle of that box, and I don't want that either. No, I'm not. Yes, here we are. So that to uncenter it, press align left. There we are. And there he is, aligned left. And that's what you that's what it looks like when you click outside the box. Click here, the box appears. We can move him up and down. We can place him wherever. The box is a little bit too big for him as, he, as it stands. So I'm just going to move that. And I'm going to add some detail. So let's add form. There we are. Now, in order to add a wipe for Samuel Jones, we need another text box. The quick way to do this 
is to choose the T there, insert text box. Okay. So I'm going to push text box here. And this will be his wife. And I'm going to put the equal sign for the marriage in there as well. And I've chosen to do that. And as you can see, they're not quite aligned with the same font. So I'm going to just make sure that font size is the same. Oops, I'm going to select it first. That might be a good idea. There we are. Move that back so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Just put a few more spaces in there so that's a bit better spaced out. So now we want to add a line for the children. And you can see that along the bottom here are all the drawing, normal drawing tools that you would find. Uh, you've got colour, fill, insert shapes and so on. But we just want lines. So we just select line. And then we bring it down from that equal sign. And then another line coming along like this. There we are. And just marry those two together like that. And then we're ready to add our children. Where we want them. Along this line, for example, let's say there are three children. There we are. And then for each child, we need another text box. So we choose the text box. We pop that there. Move them along if we want. There we are. Let's, let's move them up a little bit like that. There we are. And we want to make sure that that is the right. So I'm going to go back over here. There we are. And you continue doing that text box for each child. And when you find that you've run out of room, then you have to make the decision whether you're going to make everything much smaller and move it around or whether you need another sheet. And there we have it.